Hello and welcome to the very first Sunday service by the EOC, the Ecumenical Order of Christ. I would like to start off with an opening prayer. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, Amen. Therefore, let us pray in this way. Our Father, who is in heaven, hallowed by your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us our necessary bread today and forgive us our debts just as we also forgive our debtors and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory for the eternity of eternities amen I would like you to give any prayer requests in the comment section. I will pray for these people once the service has been concluded. So please place your prayers beneath. I would like to now do the creed. I believe in God the Father, almighty creator of the heavens and the earth. I believe in Yeshua the Christ, his transcendent Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born to mankind. He was crucified, died and was buried. He descended to the dead on the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and was seated at the right hand of the Father. He has come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the word of God the returned Christ, Lord Rael. In his great commandment, love God, love each other. In the holy ecumenical order of Christ, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. I would like to now give you a teaching and the teaching today is based on Romans 9.27 which is the gathering of the children. I would like to speak about the transcript that the Lord gave. I shall read it now. Mercy, I have shown it. Time and time and time again. I and my saints have suffered so much so that you may flourish and that have I required in return your repentance, your rational, perhaps even your love and gratitude if you were so included but like spoiled children you only appreciate what you've been given when it is taken away from you I have no more desire to wrestle with your with you to hope that you will 
suddenly see the error in your ways and change for all of their right reasons. No. No. You have absolutely no intention of changing. You have no intention of showing appreciation for the gifts that have been showered upon you out of love. Sometimes with children you just have to cut your losses. You just have to hope that you will be able to salvage your children. So be it. If it is impossible to save this wicked generation, then we shall take the children of men, the unspoiled and the unsullied. We will take them from you because you do not deserve them and because they are far better off without you. We will take a remnant and use them to seed the new earth and they will grow and they will appreciate the bounty that shall be bestowed upon them and they will be deserving of my father's countless blessings and they shall live in the paradise of eternal kingdom and they will not be like you you will have caused too many of them to stumble and caused me an anger so great that at this very moment I'm unable to express fully kiss your children goodbye and pray that they find them worthy to be taken before we do what we need to do what we are about to do the children are the new seed of this new kingdom they will be taken since 2011 in May the Lord gave an address that address consisted of the harvest has begun since that time the hundred and forty four thousand twelve thousand thereof of each tribe has been slowly been taken away these are the children that should live upon Elysium they shall be taught and they shall bring new bounty to this earth as the new seed we are very close to the new kingdom the alphas and the Z's are going to be the greater majority upon this earth only those adults of certain categories will have a special place a special place that has been chosen for them that is why we have been stressing for years are you worthy are you worthy of the new kingdom are some of your children worthy of the new kingdom for if they are very soon you will see them 
taken. Taken by the angels. And all four corners of this earth. And may they be blessed. For they shall be in paradise. With the Lord. With his saints. I hope and I pray that you understand this. And are prepared for what is about to happen. Any time. I would like to leave a blessing as before I end this Sunday service and I will say this may our Heavenly Father bless and protect you may you face and shield in his light and grace upon you may he grant you peace joy and everlasting love. Amen. Now, one last thing. Love God. Love each other. Amen. Thank you. And please tune in to our brother at six o'clock and uh, enjoy his service. Thank you very much.